Hey gang, Scott here. My friends at On One have released Photo Raw 2023.5. Bunch of new features put into the product. This is a free update if you're a Photo Raw 2023 user already. And there are a few uh, favorite things for me in this release. I'm going to do a video on each one of them. This one is about the improvements in the refine brush and specifically the encircle mode. And I'll explain what that is in this video. Check out the other ones. I'll put links in the show notes to the other videos I'm doing about Photo Raw 2023.5. And if you're thinking about adding Photo Raw to your toolkit or maybe one of the other on one products, Check the show notes. I've got an offer code down there. It can save you 20%. Won't cost you anything extra. Gives me a little support to do videos like this. So Refine Brush, this new thing in Photo Raw 2023, uh, the encircle mode. This is really cool. I want to show you how this works. With this image here, I've done some of my basics. I did my basic develop. I've added a couple of color adjustments to get the colors the way I want them. And uh, I certainly want some dynamic contrast for the scene overall. But I'd like to also add more punch more detail you know the the show all the the fine details in this stack of rocks this cairn here and tools like super select sometimes they can fall short when there's just not enough visual clues here where it's detecting like kind of like natural ground everything that's rocks or sand or beach it's just kind of picking all that stuff up and so i can't select just the rock stack well i mean I certainly could in the past. I have, uh, you know, I got my uh, mask AI, like the original one where I can do keep and drop and things like that. But with this improvement to the refine brush in 2023.5, it's got a whole lot easier. So let me show you this here. I want to add a uh, another filter here. Let's add another dynamic contrast. Now this is doubling down, doing everything on the whole scene twice. Uh, let's do this. We'll invert that mask. So now, this dynamic contrast, no change whatsoever. I'm not going to use any of the masking tools. I'm going to go straight to the refine brush. Refine brush, we have two modes, paint out, paint in. We have auto as well. I'm starting with a black mask. I'm going to paint in. And we have this new option for method. You've got the original detection, uh, hair, branches, hard edges, or diffused edges. If you have noisy images, as well as user defined, all of these options here, they set these values in this grid. Mode one is the original, mode two is this uh, new method, and then you can adjust sensitivity and smoothness and so forth to your liking. What I want to do though, this isn't really even like, visual in, in the refined brush. This is just knowing how to use it. There's uh, this encircle object mode. It's object selection. And so with this brush here, this refined brush, I'm going to choose hard edges because I want to go around this particular edge of this rock stack. And all I'm going to do is paint around the edge of this rock stack here and making sure I leave a gap, you know, so it's, it's, you know, it's an outline. There's, there's a bubble around the thing that I'm interested in masking and I'll let go and let the refined brush go to work. And it's already done. Here's the O key. See the mask there. That's really darn close. At this point, I have my, my brush. I can just go ahead and clean up those little bits of edges there, paint those in just like that. There we go. And now I have that dynamic contrast, that second pop just on this rock stack. And I can punch the smalls up, maybe even open up the shadows a little bit. You can push it really far. You can see it's just affecting the rocks there to make that really just jump out. And so that is the refine brush improvement, this in circle mode. This is object selection, right? Really, this is uh, uh, selecting an arbitrarily shaped object. You draw an outline around it directly with the refine brush with anything that can be masked, right? This is layers, filters, local adjustments. There's masks all over the place in Photo Raw. You can use this in circle mode for any of them. And it is great when things like super select or the uh, the auto AI masks are just falling a little bit short in circle mode with refine brush let you deal with that hope you find the video useful got questions drop them below and until next time my name is Scott Davenport have fun